In today's video, we are going to look at three new AI powered tools that can improve your productivity. The first one is the ability to automatically edit video with AI and turn it into a nice professional presentation. The second one is able to take audio or video and convert that into a text based format suitable for blog posts, newsletters, emails. And the third one is able to take a text prompt and generate an entire website. So another um, AI powered website builder. So if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. Let's start with one take AI. This is what I actually used to make today's video intro. So uh, this one, you just choose the style of video you'd like to make. So there's a few to choose from in the presets here, choose your color scheme, um, give it a name and a title. Then you just upload your raw video. So this is just some video that I've captured using my webcam. Just upload it like that. There we go. Once that's uploaded, we press the magic button and it'll process for a minute here. It looks like it's done that okay. Once it's done processing, you can change any of the details you like there or just go ahead and publish. And there you go. You can preview in the preview window there or you can download your um, sound and video down here. So that's all there is to it. I just downloaded the MP4 and that was today's video intro. And the thing I really liked here is that it automatically removed any ums and ahs and any pauses from that video besides doing that nice presentation effect with the dot points on the right of the screen. I thought this was a really cool way of quickly producing a nice professional presentation. All these tools have deals on at the moment through AppSumo. I'll put the links in the description for all of these if you want to check them out. Also, OneTake AI has a free trial as well if you just want to test it through OneTake's website. So check those out if you're interested. Next one we're going to look at is Whisper AI. So this takes audio and turns it into text content. So really great for podcasters, webinars, YouTubers like me who have um, audio that they can turn into content for their website. This one's super easy. You just upload an audio file or link to a YouTube video and click upload. In my case, I just tested it with one of my recent videos, the Cloudways Autonomous video I did recently. And after processing it, you just click view and you can see all the different kinds of content that it creates from your um, original audio or video. So first of all, it gives you a raw transcript. So that is the entire script from the video. That's about 2000 um, words or so. But the one I quite liked was um, newsletter, which summarized it down to about uh, three or 400 words. And this blog post one, which makes it about 700 words on this blog post. And I thought they did a really good job. If you don't like the tone of the text that they use, you can rewrite it in, um, I'll say a more playful tone, a more professional tone, a motivational tone, those kind of things. You can easily quickly tune it to suit the um, presentation you're looking for. But I really love this one personally, because I'm much more productive talking into a mic than I am typing away and trying to create content like that. If you want to check out what it actually came out like, um, you can head over to my blog on ideaspot.com.au and the Cloudways Autonomous blog was written using this tool. So um, I thought it did a really quite a good job. Um, I changed it to a professional tone and um, you can just check it out for yourself and just see how well it did. Again, that deal's in the description. The lifetime deal here is pretty good. Um, $49, it lets you do um, four hours of audio into text per month. So uh, pretty nice deal. And the third tool I looked at was Lindo AI. This is a website generator. So you basically you put a prompt in and it will create an entire website. I'll give you a quick demo from the dashboard here. We create the website with AI. I'll create a small business website called Tim's Tiling. You give it a name, you give it a temporary URL. You can make a custom URL later and we'll click create. And this next stage has quite a few options for different types of sites. So there is a online business, digital product, local business, pre-sale, music and podcasts, uh, e-commerce stores, uh, booking websites, uh, events, early access. So a few to choose from here. It covers all the main um, types of sites I think most freelancers need to build. This one is a local business, so we're going with that here. And here is where we put the prompt in. So here we go. We put the title and about 30 to 50 words I found gave pretty good results when I was testing this. So um, pop the prompt in there about the business that we are designing for in this case. And then we click create. And this is what it comes up with. So in this case, it's got five pages here, all the typical pages you'd want for a small business site. And you've got your images and text that are really easy to edit in this point and click editor, very similar to probably any other website editor you've used in the past. So if you want to change the image, it's actually got suggestions from stock image libraries from Pexels, Unsplash, Giphy, and Tenor. That makes the uh, productivity quite smooth in terms of its uh, use. 
Other thing I really liked was if you want to change any of the text, just click on the box and you can actually ask the AI to regenerate, fix the grammar, make it shorter, um, or you could just ask it something else in the prompt window there. So if we just want to regenerate it, we can just wait a second and it will change the uh, title prompt there to something else as well. So uh, quite like this in terms of being able to prototype something really quick. This does a good job. So it is pretty good at generating content. The actual design settings are pretty limited at the moment. So hopefully they um, add some more design options going forward. The other thing I'd really like to see in the features, and a lot of people are asking for this in the roadmap, is the ability to export. So we don't have the ability to export. They're all hosted through Lindo AI at the moment. So um, it'd be really cool if you could just export the HTML and CSS and be able to host this on other places. So hopefully they add that in the future, but um, I quite like the um, content and the quality of what it comes up with is pretty cool. So again, Lindo AI lifetime deal is in the description, $49. I think you can host two websites for that deal. And um, they also have a free trial if you just want to test it, which is pretty interesting as well, but you can upgrade the tiers to give you 10 websites or 25 websites as well. But um, that pretty much wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.